The Feed and Seed program here at the Ancient Nutrition Center for Regenerative Agriculture is an absolute groundbreaking, earth-changing program. So we find and pick up what some people would call trash at stores, at restaurants, health food stores, grocery stores, hotels, food service, etc. Stuff that's not sellable anymore and we bring it here and we feed to our animals. Upwards of 30, even 40 percent of the food produced in America is wasted, never reaches the individual, the customer, etc. The feed and seed program really is surprising to people. It really is eye-opening to them to see like, oh wow, that's not what I thought it was. That's perfectly good. It's just that because dates aren't met and, and maybe it's a little softer than normal, stores are having to get rid of it. And so we're benefiting. It's not a slurry of discussing this. It's beautiful food that really does help the animals and the soil. One day I was here looking at our seed and feed program when I saw in the field a mature squash that grew from the food scraps. I realized that we're not just feeding our birds. Of course, the water buffalo like the occasional pumpkin as well. We are actually planting millions, billions, even trillions of seeds over the course of time. The things that we can't eat all of become food for other animals, food for the soil, and then the seeds that were in those can then become our food again. So we have that full circle, that closed loop circle. And that's how it's always been throughout history and we've kind of gotten away from that. I feel like we're getting back to that. So we were interested in the program simply for the fact that it was looking at rebuilding and regenerating the soil. So not just the health of the carrot, but the health of the soil that the produce of the carrots were grown in. Well, I think we're all excited about the benefits of regenerative organic farming and the sustainable benefits that provides to our planet. We're feeding thousands of animals on three grocery stores. Just imagine if all of the grocers were participating, if all of the restaurants were participating, there would be massive amount of food waste to be able to go to farmers everywhere instead of going to the landfill. So we've only been open since April, so we're just getting started, but we are already averaging over a thousand pounds of waste a month. Currently it's about 6,000 pounds per week. So I mean everything from coffee grounds to eggshells to, to tops of pineapple with meat, cheese, you know, ends of carrots or greens that aren't going to be used and cooked and served. And so the ease of that program was honestly my favorite part. The employees jumped on board right away. It was very easy, a very smooth transition, a very simple, easy buy-in, and the team loves the fact that they're contributing to the farm. Our staff is, has embraced it, and I think they're pretty proud to be a part of it. Oh, the employees are thrilled about the program. We recently hired uh, someone in our produce area, and one of her job responsibilities is filling the bins for the donation, and she was just thrilled at the benefits that it provides. We believe that by the year 2030, we can take 15 million pounds of food scraps and help feed animals, build soil, literally taking trash and turning it into treasure. I believe we might just be able to save the world with superfoods.